All right, everyone, this is Ross. We're here at the Long Island Fig Festival, the second annual Fig Festival. And we are filming right now because we're going to give you guys a little bit of a tour here of Maddie's backyard. And Maddie has a whole lot of fig trees here. And that's Matt right there and Devin that'll be joining us shortly. And there's all kinds of people talking and conversing. And we've got people under the deck really just enjoying the event. You can see Maddie's thing right there. It's really beautiful. So let's begin the tour, guys. We're going to start. All right. All right. So we're live. Are we starting from the beginning again? We can start from the beginning if you want. This is RDB. Not as productive as Matt wants. Not as productive as I was like, but uh, I hit a little bit of shock this year, so can't really complain. I still probably have 50, 60 figs on here at least. And this fig right here is pretty weird. Yes, it's a Any carniv idea? carnivorous fig. Carnivorous fig. Yes. So nice. don't put your finger in there. Yeah. A little broader. No. A little shop of heart. A little yeah. shop of heart in there. All right, let's move on. It's cool. Oh. This is my Nebo fig. Nebo, Nebo, Italian variety. Italian variety, big on the Detroit people. Mm -hmm. Pentalone Winery, that's a fig, an unknown fig from a winery that Mario picked up. Right. Got the love fig. This is love, Fico love. Fico so love. what do we Lupo. know about this Lupo. fig so far? Lupo. It's, it's called... It is by Farah. I did have a Brabel off it, so, and it was really good. Um, it's... Paolo Bellini's favorite fig, so, you know, let's hope that it's going to be as good here. Right. Supposedly it's early, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be very early. So, we will see. What have you heard, Devin? Anything about the love fig? I've heard that first year it's not amazing, like it takes a little time for the flavor to mature. Yeah. Once it, once you start getting rough, And uh, like Mario one brought one here, didn't he? Yeah, I didn't get to we taste it. Mario though. brought a nice few of them that. for raffle. So. You didn't get to taste it? Oh, the fruit. He brought oh, the yes, fruit. Oh, yes, he brought a fruit, yes. Yeah. The fruit was okay. Yeah, it, was it wasn't. Underripe. It was underripe. So underripe. In a few years, we will hold judgment. More about it, huh? Yeah. A few years. Behind here is a Demos Unknown. This is from Raphael. This is from Queens. Very mm -hmm. hearty fig. Yep. Very unique fig. This is Nothing one that I. Anything else that I can see? You're gonna have to send me cuttings again this year. Uh -huh. that one. This is Montenegro. This is from one of the guys in Detroit. From uh, I think Leon. I have not had a fig like this. It's very supposedly similar to Del Monte or Stella. Yeah, have you eaten it? I have not. It hasn't fruited in two years, so this might be. Ah. This year. It's a nice fig, though. What is that, Rio? Rio, this is. That's from, Rio. Yes, Rio. Uh, this is also another Mario fig. That, That's Mario's uh, from his childhood home, right? Yes, this is near the river near his home. Oh, huge, is that the one with the picture and they chopped it down? No, that is Mario's number 50. Okay, I that's the one. That's yet. the Mine's one we want, years, guys. Casa de like Lazaro. Keep Casa your Lazaro. keep your eyes out for that one. Yes. Uh, we got there. Ferd in the background. Sorry yeah, to interrupt. Guys. This is Ferd. <laughs> we also have Tony here. If you want to be in there, Tony. Hey, how are you? you no choice now. Sorry, Matt. Continue. <laughs> we got Barry Fig. I got that from Rick. Okay. Um, this is Trey Volte Natalina. Uh huh. Uh, supposedly bears three it, crops. Is that one see. white, black? This is the white one. This okay. Is um, this is Moscatel Preto, as I just got as a gift from Jamie. Very nice. Hey, Jamie. That's a very sought-after fig. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Col de Dom Blanc. It's a nice, it's a nice tree form, form. Huh? It just hasn't been uh, as productive as I was like. Let me get in front of you guys. Go ahead. Sorry. You need some of those nice Martinica stainless steel tree Ramada. Okay. I'm very excited for this. Also from Jamie today. Does anyone, do you have any of this? Anyone have a Martinica Ramada? No. Uh, no, that's Marta. It's not Martinensa, right? <laughs> <laughs> or are they the same? Devin's referring to the name down here on the pot, but it's Martinica Romana. Yeah. Well, she wrote just Marta was <laughs> talking, yeah. too. Who's this? Are yeah. you being serious? Yeah. I just wonder if are there two figs or is it oh. just she didn't want to write Martinica. I think she was okay. just lazy. Maybe she doesn't know how to spell it. It could happen. <laughs> I've had to make a few tags for it. So. Sorry, I thought you were making a joke. People this is only have me make tags for their expensive figs, though. Yeah. So Devin makes tags, by the way, yeah. on Figbit. If you want to get a tag from him, they're actually pretty good quality. And um, he actually brought some trees here with the tags on them. And they've all disappeared now. Yeah. The tree they've all disappeared. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Oro. Oro. Is this Oro. one? Uh, did, we, this is the one that we're now thinking might not actually be uh, common. 
common fix. So Could be a, we'll a San Pedro, perhaps. Yeah, we'll see. This is something from Jamie. I don't know what that is right now. I yep. will look at the tag later. I never took the bait on the Oro, by the way. This is the Red Lebanese Baca Valley. Very pretty productive, I say. Yeah, this is uh, very excited. I just got that this year. It's supposed to be excellent. Because yeah. we had it last year here, and it was so good. Oh, that was a pollinated one, so don't let your taste buds be <laughs> so hot. What's the biggest? Is it still taste pretty good? I don't know. We haven't had one that's unpollinated. Okay, well, you'll God have to tell me this year how it is. Yeah, Godfather in the back. Okay. It's Godfather found by Godfather. Coop. Godfather. Our Everyone good friend Coop. Yeah, Victoria. Victoria. Whoa. I haven't up potted it, that's why it's like. I have one of those. It has potential, that fig. What's all the spots on your fig? Uh, thrips. Yeah, what is that, Matt? Thrips. Look at them this spots. is Sister Madeline's Green Greek. This is one of my many Sister Madeline's Green Greek. Is your favorite of the Sister Madeline series? Yes, it is. Are there more than one Sister Madeline? Sister There's Madeline's a... yellow is sought to be something else, I forgot. Okay. And Sister Madeline's dark is. Uh, Burgess Art Noir. Nice. Gonna have a look similar to that of a black Madeira, but not the taste. Very good. pretty fig. Very pretty fig. Okay. Um, I wish mine made figs like that. <laughs> mine just grows. This is Melanzana de Salento. It's beautiful. Who is that, dude? Spade leaves. I don't know. Is that from Mario? It's a Mario fig. Of ah. Yeah. Uh, so many Mario figs. Yes, he has Mario. no basic figs. He just Here's has like all these high flavored rare figs. Galicia Negra, I know people were saying there's no five foot Galicia Negras. Mine's five feet. There's a fig back there. Mine's okay. very vigorous. Mine barely yeah, I grows. I have no issues. It grows so much it doesn't put out fruit, but. Uh, Just creeps along. I think he's got some basic figs. Yeah. Here's uh, along the outs. Pretty loaded. I ate a fig off of Maddie's tree last year that you gave me, off this tree. It was one of the best figs I've ever had ripened in the Northeast. Yeah, it's very underrated. Yeah, anybody in Northeast should probably have one. What do you think this is right here? So I've seen this on a couple of my trees where... Yeah, it's an aborted fig. So that one's just going to come off yeah, anyway. An when it turns color like that, it'll definitely abort. And Maddie has um, irrigation down in here, right here, for all of his pots. You can see there's a line that comes up in here with the spot spitters. And that's how he waters them. How often do you water them, Matt? They're twice a day for about 15 minutes. Wow. And how many gallon per hour is that? Uh, I think it's only about two gallons per hour. So they only get maybe, you know, a third of a gallon, give or take. Okay. Not too much. Uh, All right, let's let's keep this going and try to yeah, show dark, us the really good ones. Dark Greek unknown. I'm okay. looking forward to. This is the Calderdam Gordos Distenka, which uh, I had the Braver from, which was amazing. Do you like it? Huge. Yeah. Have you had the main crop? I uh, had main crop last year. It was good. Up there with other cold adams? Um, not so much. Not so much. Uh, VDB in the back. I got Vertolino. Is, is Vertolino good. from Mario as well? Yes, Vertolino from Mario as well. Have you tried that? I have not tried that. That is fully loaded. Though, so. Okay. Um, Sister Madeline's Green Greek. Uh huh. My twins over here. Oh, Ramada, Ramada, Cold Adam, Ramada. Cold Adam, Ramada, and what? Cold Adam, Ramada. Oh, both of them. Both of them are Cold Adam. <laughs> okay. Black Madeira that's going a little sideways. In the but back it is there. Fully loaded with at least 70 pigs on there. Uh huh. What do you think about Black Madeira? It's good. It's blitz. It's not good for humid weather, but what are you going to do? Okay. If you can get it before it can split, then it's awesome. How awesome? Camping type. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You gotta take other things into okay. consideration. I got Genovese Nero grafted on two different sides. Have you tried that? Smith, yeah, Genovese Nero. I have tons of them. Is that better very than good. Black Madeira? Very good. Very good. Very different. It's not. It doesn't have that that basic intense flavor. It's, it's not. It's, uh, oh, okay. Uh, this is my oh. Detrace's place. Wow! Look how productive this tree is. So, as you can see, it is it is fully loaded. What do we have here? Day trace Looks like you have a fig turning right now. Oh yeah, you're right. You might have actually spotted one of my earliest figs. So my figs are also ripening now on this tree. On this tree. The trace display is Ponza's like earliest it's variety. Mine's only a year old. Yeah, it's a really special fig. I had a few off mats last year that were really good. 
and uh, it's going to ripen any day, I think. This is the Casa de Lazaro, Mario's number 50. This is from his hometown. Wow, it's very this big, so is very no excuse for it no is, cutting. <laughs> it's very similar taste-wise to Genovese Nero, Black Terror, I-258. So. Yeah, but you, you just said I, that I-258 is different than Black Madeira and that as it's not as intense. Top, no, it's top fake. As far as it being a top fake, very fake. Gotcha. Not the exact same profile. Okay. Violet de Soleil, my other Smith tree. Um, I think this is an I-258. Duplicate, this is my backup tree. Is your Smith in the back here? Yeah, that's a Smith in the back. My other Smith was the other way. Looks quite productive this year, right? Wow, that's yeah, very productive. This one is, the other one isn't as much. Okay. Um, BB10, I don't have any fruits on it this year. This is my, this is my Borges Oak Greek. This thing Wow, is, that's incredible. I think it's a little loaded. Just a little bit, huh? Double figs almost on every note. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Yeah, this, this is a very is, underrated variety, would you uh, say? This is probably one of the best varieties you can have, and it's very underrated. Right. Um, More underrated than Long Diao? Uh, I think this is like a <laughs> this is a much higher quality fig than Long Diao, and it's not cold hardy, so you know Long Diao everyone should have. Okay. This is going to be Nero grafted. Oh, very nice. Okay, I just went into the... Sablawi. I hope to try that this year. Is that from Jamie? Um, I can't remember now. That, that was from last year. I got uh, another Smith. Another Genovese Nero. Uh, a lot of Genovese Nero. And what size pots are most of these trees in? 10 to 15. 10 to 15? 7, 10, and then 15. And how old are they? Uh, things like the Smith, that's... Four and five, three-year-old trees. What happened there? Did you graph something? That's a graph, yeah. There's two different graphs on both sides. I think that's both Genovese and Euro. Okay, I just and see that. Yeah, they you can see this is a cleft, looks like, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's cleft graph. And this one here didn't take on this side, but it's, but it's taken on the other side. Yep. So. Okay. This is LSU Scott's Black. Whew. Black Tuscan, which is also a very, very underrated fig. Yeah. Uh, have you tasted it? I have not. This is going to be my first year, and I, it actually supposedly ripens earlier than Black Madeira. So right. I'm happy about that. Another Black Madeira tree, speaking of which, I-258, which is not loaded at all. This thing Wow. too much shock from coming out of the green, uh, garage. This tree is massive, though. It really goes. It, is, um, it goes in weird places. Yes, it does. It needs uh, a good trim. It needs a good haircut. We're taking down the tents now. People are wrapping up the event here. Hold it on Noir. This is my backup Cavalier. This is Pascular, which I don't know if we're sure if people have gotten fruits off it yet. This is definitely it, though. I can tell by the leaf. Yeah. I know and it's then, true. Cold the Dom. Which one is this Noir? Yeah. Wow, that's a pretty, pretty good amount bad. of figs. It, it is. It is a very. It is the most productive cultivar. Really. Blanc doesn't produce as much. Noir produces a lot. Ramada doesn't. Um, so this is, I think, the the Bordesos Blanca Ramada. I can't remember the one that was a mistake last year. Everybody thought it was a negative Ramada. This is my Cavalier. This is the mother tree. This is like the oldest one in the States. Very nice. This is the one where you got yours and a bunch of other people. But yep. This got shot. This came straight from Italy, from uh, Paolo Bellini. Awesome. Mine's Mario doing quite well this year. I got this from him four years ago. Um, I think this is one of my other Black Madeiras. Who is this? Madeiras. Yeah, this is a Black Madeira. This is a very tightly spaced tree. This is, is very impressive how these black Madeiras put out this many fruits in such small clusters. You have a Harry Street. I don't have a Harry Street. No, I just added that one. Look, I mean, look at this. Prado, very closely related to black Madeira. Same thing. I mean, the, the fruit is just... It's the same thing. It's very similar, <laughs> if not the same. For sure. I don't know, Francisco and the Raspberry latte Portugal definitely kept needs some night iron in it. Yeah, that one looks pretty malnourished, yeah. but... Be careful where you're walking. Will do. Dog vomits. 
slime. This is Romagnolo. This is Villa Costa. More Mario figs. More Those are my figs. Rosalinos. Okay. I might get some fruit off the Rosalino. Okay. And the one that's really packed over here is the Coldedom Grease. Whoa. Nuts. Okay. So I really wanted this to look at this I, tree. I that this one I, tree last year, and that was good. This is a really good thing. And mine put on over three feet of growth, vertical growth this year. It's yeah. huge. Thing probably is going to have over 200 figs this year. 200 figs on this one tree. Yeah. And what size pot? Ten. There you guys go. You hear it? You heard it here first. Martinenka you gave me. Is it? Oh, nice. Yeah, this is the Martinenka. Wow, you're going to get fruit before I am. We got a Chero. Chero, which is supposedly one of Mario's favorite trees. Oh, my God. You send me pictures of this one. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We got Deloso. Uh-huh. I don't know if it'll be the form. From Belfiore Nursery. Yeah, and then most of the other stuff that I have here is just very cold party. I have Godfather. Adriatic, it's just too wild. Some local, my sheep's head. Right, and these are trees that you selected in this area that don't get as much light because of this Correct. tree. Yeah. So these are the ones that they fruit, they fruit. If they don't, they don't. You know, probably only get around six hours of light. Six hours of light. These should all ripen. I mean, the sheep's head is. Oh yeah, no, they're definitely gonna ripen. These are very far along. They don't need it. You know. Some of these are not going to fruit um, form this, fruit, so. Yeah, this one may not, you know. No, this one supposedly, this is the one I just got, so. This is the panache. Gotcha. Yeah, all right. And then all my grafts and rootstocks in the back, past the pursuit. All right, perfect. So just want to thank Matt for the tour and the fabulous event that everybody has been enjoying. Uh, it's a really great event, and hopefully next year, Matt, you may have the event not at your house for all this work that you put on. So, uh, right. So if that happens, guys, you'll hear it here first. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Take care.